Hi and welcome! In this Pandas tutorial you will learn how to rename the columns in the data frame. Now renaming columns can be done in two different ways at least. In this video you will learn how to use both of them. We're going to start by using the rename method. This is a method that is available in the data frame objects. And we're going to start by renaming a single column and then we will continue by renaming multiple columns. More specifically, we will start by renaming two columns and then we will rename three columns. Now, of course, you can rename all the columns or only four or five if you want to. Just follow the video and you will understand how. After we have done that, we will continue by using the other method. And this method is the columns method, which is also available in the data frame object. Here we can assign a list with the column names we want, uh, the new column names that we want. And we assign this to the DEF columns, for instance. Now, finally, we're going to learn how to change the column names while loading the data. In this video, we'll use a CSV file, but it's also possible from an Excel file or if you have the data from a SAV file that is from SPSS or any other file format that you can create a data frame from. Now, changing the column names might be useful if we have scraped our data, for example, and the resulting data frame we get is uh, full of long variable names or strange variable names, for instance or the data file we got from a collaborator also is uh, full of long names, for instance. These are some examples when it might be good to know some methods for changing the column names in the Pandas data frame. If you have another example, please leave a comment below so that I learn new examples. Now, we're going to work with the data that we load from CSV and this uh, Example data have quite nice uh, variable names for, sh for sure, but we need some example data to work on. Now, before we continue and start up a Jupyter Notebook, I just want to mention that there are links in the description below. For instance, if you prefer learning from text, there's a link to a blog post covering most of the examples that we use in this video. There is also a link to the data set we use, so you can download it and um, follow the video. Of course, there's also a Jupyter Notebook there with uh, all the code uh, from this video, so you can uh, change it around and, and play around with it. Uh, now, there's also some uh, Pandas tutorials that you might find useful uh, that I have uploaded previously on this channel. Before we start now, Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. Okay, it's time now to start uh, coding. So we have loaded up a Jupyter Notebook in this case. And in the first code chunk here, we will import pandas as pd. So we're going to load data from a CSV file that I have stored on uh, my hard drive. So we use uh, pandas read csv method here and we create the data frame object that we call data frame uh, now the data is stored in a sub uh, folder called sim data uh, and play underscore csv uh, data dot csv is uh, the file name now the first row uh, the first column, I'm sorry, in this uh, uh, data uh, CSV file is the index col column. So we use also the argument index column, set it to zero here. Uh, now we can print the first five rows using the uh, head method that is available in the data frame ob object we create here. So we can see here we have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven row uh, columns in this uh, data frame. And we're going to rename first a single column, and then two columns, and then three columns using the df rename, rename method. Uh, now, the first argument here 
is the columns. And it takes a dictionary. And just to briefly describe how to uh, rename a single column. So you have your old, old column name uh, and your new column name. So the key in the dictionary you put in here uh, is the old column name and the value will be your new column name. So that's how you change a single column. Let's see how you do that in practice. So there's no columns named, old column name here. So we take the subject ID column and we rename it to sub ID. Now to get this to change the data frame object, there's one more thing we need to do. And we need to uh, add the in place parameter param uh, argument and set it to true. Now we can have a look again at the first five rows. And we can see here that the subject ID column was renamed to sub ID. Now let's load this data again. And if we want to change two columns, the name of the two columns, we just add a second column here. We can add first name uh, and put name here if we want it to be called name instead. And we still have the in place argument here. Now we can see subject ID is renamed to sub ID, like in the first example. First name is now name. Now let's read uh, the data again and let's add the third column we want to rename. Let's take response time and call it RT. And you will see now we have renamed three columns in the pandas data frame. Now, of course you can rename all of them by putting in uh, the column names and the new name continue doing this for day, age, gender, and miss, slash call. Now, we're going to use the second method in this tutorial. That is, we're going to use the DF columns method. And this method, if you just use it like this, it will print the column names. You can see like this. But we're going to use this to assign a Python list with the new column names. So we create new calls uh, like this and we name the first ID and uh, given name, uh, session, uh, now age we're not going to rename it rt oh we can name it uh, rename it response time again uh, and we can change this to sex uh, and missing vowels like this so now if we use this method we need to have each column name here so if we don't have uh, one of them, even though if we don't want to change age, if we leave this out, this will not work. So next thing we do is use the DF columns and we do like this. So new calls and DF head like this. And you can see now we changed almost every column name in this pandas data frame. Uh, now I'm going to show you if we remove for instance age here, we, we don't want to rename it, you will see that pandas will throw an error here. So what does it say? Length mismatch. Expected axis has seven ele elements. New values have six elements. So here we need to add every uh, every 
column even though if we don't want to rename it then we can use the old the old column names so we, it will not be renamed now it's time for the final example here we're going to change the column names in the pandas out of frame while reading the csv file so this method is pretty much uh, it's very similar to using the the, uh, the columns method that we used in the previous example so we need to know how many columns there there are in the data file that we are loading whether it's an excel file csv file and so on uh, so here again we can create a list new calls like this and we put uh, the new column names here like in the previous example so we have sub id uh, and we have uh, also we have the name oops name and we will have a session and we will have uh, also uh, age and then we can have RT and we can have sex uh, oops and we will have also at the last missing values now there are two things we need to do after this so we need to change something in the read csv we need to first add a header argument and set it to zero because there are already um, uh, column names in this csv file and then we add the names uh, argument and new calls like this and the f head this should give us these column names in the data frame object we create here so let's see let's run it yes it worked out fine so i'm just going to show you what happens if we, if we leave this one out the header because we have already we already have column names and they be then become the first row and that's most likely something we don't want to happen now in this video we have answered the question how do i rename uh, columns in pandas data frame now there were three ways we covered here we used the rename method the columns method and we did it while reading the data file now we also learned how to change the name of a single column how to change the name of two columns and three columns also we learned how to change all column names now if there are any types of tutorials that you need me to record please leave a comment below and before you go Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Bye.